Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at 9.4, the volume of prisms, and today we're going to be writing down five things in our notes. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to write down is how to find the volume of a prism. This is going to be your cut and dry how to find the volume of a prism. Um, you're going to be finding the area of the base and then timesing it by the height. Notice that area of the base is a capital B and then um, height is just normal H. The reason why area of the base is capitalized is because a, little, a lowercase b would just mean base, whereas a capitalized b means area of the base. Notice you have two different areas. This one is a rectangle, and then over here you have a triangle. So those are going to be kind of different, finding the areas of rectangles and triangles. Let's go ahead and pause the video now. Oops. Um, so you can copy down what you see on the screen, most specifically the formula. Once you're done, click play so you can see how it's done. Alright, so the first thing you're going to watch me do is finding the volume of this prism. Again, you're finding area of the base times the height. For this one, the area of the base is 6 times 8, and the height is 15. Right here. 6 times 8 is going to give me 48, and 48 times 15 is going to give me 720. So my answer will be 720 yards cubed. Okay, here's where you're going to try it. So go ahead and pause the video now. Find the area of the base and times it by the height. And once you're done, click play. All right, so once again, we're finding area of the base times height. My base is 4 by 4, and my height is also 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is going to give me 64 feet cubed. How did you do? The next shape we're going to try is finding the volume of a triangular prism. Again, we're still using the same formula, but instead of just finding the area of a rectangle, we're now finding the area of a triangle. The numbers I'm going to use here for the triangle are 5.5 .5 and 2. And remember, to find the area of a triangle, I have to multiply base times height and then divide it by 2. In this case, those twos are just going to cancel out. That won't always be the case, though, because sometimes your height of the triangle will be different than a 2. 5.5 times 2 divided by 2 is 5.5, and then 5.5 times 4 is going to give us 22 inches cubed. Here's the one that you're going to try, so go ahead and pause the video now to try number 3, and once you're done, click play so you can check your work. Alright, so once again, we're finding area of the base times the height. The base in this one is a 5 by 12 triangle, so 5 times 12 divided by 2 and then timesing it by the height, which is 9. The reason why 9 and 12 are not the base is because, remember, for prisms, your, base have, your bases have to be directly across from one another, almost par like parallel shapes, and these triangles are the only ones that do that. So that's why the base is the triangle. 5 times 12 divided by 2 is 30, and 30 times 9 is 270, so your answer should be 270 meters cubed. Here are your last two that you're going to try in your notes. So again, let's go ahead and pause the video now, try it, and once you're done, click play to check your work. Alright, so for both of these, you're finding area of the base times the height. For number four, the base was a 3 by 2 rectangle, and the height was 4. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 2, which is 6, and then 6 times 4 gives me 24 centimeters cubed. For this one, it's a little bit different. I have a triangle as my base, so that's a 6 by 7 triangle. And then I've got to divide that by 2, and then multiply it by the height, which is 8. 6 times 7 is 42. 42 divided by 2 is 21. And 21 times 8 should give you 168 feet cubed. How'd you do in that one? That's going to conclude our notes for today, so just make sure you have all five things written in your notes, and make sure you're understanding that to find the volume of prisms, you're doing area of the base times the height, keeping in mind that sometimes bases are triangles, and sometimes they're squares or rectangles. Thanks so much for tuning in.